Hi Robert, good to see you today. Hey Andrew. I've um, got three questions for you. Uh, the first one is, what is it that you're seeing in the market? What are the challenges? What are the opportunities that CSPs are facing today, right now? CSPs are at the brink of a totally new era in, in how they operate. The move to cloud-based networks, dynamic programmable networks, just opens up a whole new set of potential value propositions, not only for traditional consumer type customers, but enterprise customers and, and partners as well. It's very exciting all kinds of possibilities there. It's also a challenge because it means a different way of working. Uh, it means lots of new data uh, uh, and different complexities uh, to be dealt with and, and managed as they think about how they can go and, and, and create value uh, out in the marketplace. Okay, um, I mean, you mentioned the, the need for some new approaches and maybe some new technology solutions. C could you elaborate a bit more on, on what you think CSPs should be looking at now to, to solve those challenges? Absolutely. I mean, we, we talk a lot about you know, breaking down silos uh, uh, from traditional kind of stovepipes and you know, stacks of, of software into things that are much more flexible, much more open, much more interconnected, much more platformized. And one of those challenges, one of those uh, technologies coming through is, is use of intent. It's clearly a very, very important way to, to remain close to the customer, remain close to the service and the service experience, but also to be able to flow that down through how, how software, how services and software you know, are delivered uh, in, in the network. So that's, that's one key thing. The other key thing is, is data. I mean, it's, it's, it's clear that new networks are generating so much more data, so much more telemetry information available. Uh, and if you can use that information in intelligent ways, you can enhance the experience as well as improving how you operate to be much more efficient, much more zero touch, hands off, automated, and, and make a real difference that way to the bottom line as well as, as, well as top line revenues. Okay, makes, uh, makes a lot of sense. Um... Final question then, um, how do you see Nokia being positioned to help CSPs take advantage of these, uh, these new technologies? Yeah, Nokia is a, is a, pretty, uh, is a pretty, extremely strong portfolio uh, across the board. It does have the depth and the breadth. It can go down you know, all the way right into the network. It has that intelligence. It can see data from right across the network. So that and the technology portfolio, it's focused on software, uh, particularly over the last you know, number of years, really puts it in quite a distinct place in the market. I think the way in which Nokia can, can really support operators at every stage of that journey, of that transition, including exploring new things that, that nobody really knows about, uh, that's, that's really a powerful capability. So that's, uh, that, that's a, a real strength for, for Nokia in the marketplace. Excellent, thanks very much. Thanks for your time.